like gar garlic oil. Can you make your own garlic oil? Well, here's how you do it. I'm going to use a mason jar here. You're going to use, um, yes, let's use a mason jar. I'm going to use one cup of garlic, and I'm going to chop them up real quick. So now we've got a one cup of chopped up garlic, and now we're going to add one cup of, uh, correction, two cups of olive oil. Then you're just going to put the top on it, and uh, you're going to let it sit for seven days. You'll shake it every day, and then after seven days, you will. Uh, at, you know you're going to shake it, and I do it twice a day. And you just sh you know shake it good. And what I'll do, I'll show you how to do it. That's why I like these mason jars. Is you just shake it in the morning. And turn it upside down. And then tonight, you're going to shake it a little bit and turn it like that. And you're going to do it for seven days, and then you're going to strain it. And then you'll store it in the, in the refrigerator, and you have olive oil. Very, very good. Now, you want me to share with you my favorite garlic? Now, there's no question, garlic like this is tremendous to use every day in your food. But when I re left regular health care, I asked God, show me what I can use to replace vancomycin, which is a very, very strong drug that we used intravenously for patients with, with um, MRSA, methicillin resistant Staph aureus. And we're seeing more and more of that today. And God showed something to me. It's called Allison. And Allison is super, super strong, super strong. It takes it takes 24 cloves, so let's see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cloves in this one, so it takes three times this right here to make one drop of this. Now what you'll do is, is if we're addressing like a sinus infection, uh, the nurses will, well the nurses at the hospital nearest, they were getting sinus infections and they take Cipro, then they get a UTI, urinary tract infection, and then they would take another antibiotic and they'd get a yeast infection and wipe out the floor in their colon with this next antibiotic, or both antibiotics. So then they started coming to me and they get this. They'll do 20 drops three times a day for nine days and it wipes out the sinus infections. And they don't get the UTIs, they don't get the yeast infections, and they don't wipe out the flora. Now, 20 drops three times a day of Allison is uh, 1,440 cloves of garlic a day. That's a lot. But if we're addressing something like MRSA, and I've been working with MRSA now uh, with, with this product for a little over 10 years. I s send it to doctors all over the United States who will buy 10, 12 bottles of this at a time to sell to their patients for MRSA. One teaspoon of MRSA, uh, one teaspoon of, of the uh, Allison twice a day for three months wipes out MRSA. And what happens is, is MRSA likes to hide. And so when we contiguously are using that every day for three months, it, it just kills it. Well, when you do a teaspoon, there's 2,880 cloves. So we said three of these would equal 24. So you can imagine how many cloves it'd take to make 2,880 cl clove these things, how many bulbs it'd take to make that much to do a teaspoon. And we do that twice a day. Now, if I'm catching something, like I said, I'll use oil of oregano, and, and I keep it again. I keep it in the office, I keep it in my car, 
and I keep it at home, actually on the, on the headboard, in case I wake up at night and I feel like I'm catching something. Immediately in the incipient stage, I want to use this. But I'm also a firefighter uh, to help my local community out. And if I'm out at the middle of the night and I'm fighting a house fire and it's three degrees outside and I'm soaking wet and I'm, and I'm frozen and, and, I, and I'm not getting my sleep, I can start feeling it come on. And if I don't have my oil of oregano with me, which I usually don't out on the fire ground, and I wait about oh, six, eight hours before I can take the, uh, the oil of oregano, the oil of oregano doesn't work well for me. So what I'll do, again, I don't have patience for being sick. As soon as I get in, I take a tablespoon of Allison, and then I'll take a teaspoon every two hours until symptoms are gone, and boom, it wipes it out. Very, very strong, very, very powerful. We use it for Lyme disease, we use it for H. pylori, C. difficile, uh, just all kinds of health issues that, that are very powerful. Garlic. Allicin is the component in garlic that builds the immune system. It's antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, very, very powerful. And one more thing I'd like to share with you is, we're, you know, we were talking about cancer. I have a friend, he's a physician down in North Carolina, and he is having very good success. Again, where do you get this? In your kitchen medicine cabinet, not your bathroom medicine cabinet, or you, got it, you didn't get it from the pharmacy. But it's lavender oil. Remember my little grandson, Kyler, uses, his mama uses this to put him to sleep at night just in the diffuser? Well, that doctor, if he has a patient come in, comes in with breast cancer, he will put a half a teaspoon on, on the breast and on the other breast. And he does that four times a day. A half a teaspoon applied to each, all over the full breast, twice, uh, each breast, four times a day. And he is finding consistently within two months that cancer is gone. Phenomenal what God gave us is natural medicine that's in the kitchen. Garlic uh, stimulates gastric juices. It's a, uh, we use it for blood circulation. Uh, we use it for high blood pressure, a lower one's blood pressure. Uh, it's, it's an antibiotic, it's antiviral, uh, it's antifungal, it's antimicrobial, amazing garlic. Um, you can use it for uh, uh, pinworms, round, in pin, round worms and pinworms. Uh, it helps on uh, uh, reducing that t uh, tumor formation. Allison is a very strong garlic. And the reason I mention Allison is because it's just quantum leaps stronger than just regular garlic. One drop of Allison has 24 cloves of garlic. So if you're wanting to really hit it hard, like MRSA um, or, or VRSA, vancomycin resistant Staph aureus, then the Allison is what really comes in. Because if you're doing that teaspoon twice a day for that MRSA, that's 2,880 cloves of garlic to get that much Allison. So my stomach can't handle that much garlic. It's antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, same as garlic. Uh, I say it's a natural OTC over the counter uh, antibiotic which does not require a prescription. A lot of folks are afraid what do I do if times get tough and I can't buy or sell or I can't, I'm out somewhere and I can't get a prescription? Well, for an, for an infection and I need an antibiotic. Well, God's given us, and this isn't the only antibiotic God's given us. He's given us Golden Seal and many others, but this one's very, very powerful. As I mentioned, it's good for MRSA, for VRSA, H. pylori, C. difficile, Lyme disease, uh, the common cold. Uh, so for simple things, uh, the flu, Dysentery, E. coli, salmonella, uh, diabetes, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, IBD, diverticulitis, flukes, pseudomonas, upset stomachs, heart burn or acid reflux, um, and also it will lower cholesterol. So garlic is, is something that you want to grow each year in the fall. Uh, it's, it's your medicine cabinet, it really is. The things that you can grow in your garden, that you can put in your kitchen, that's where your medicine cabinet should be. Again, I encourage you, watch our series on Old Mountain Remedies Kitchen Medicine. Mm -hmm.